What's up, everybody? At CES 2017 this past January, we saw a whole bunch of products. A lot of them have already come to market. Some we are still waiting on. Uh, we are six months clear of CES at this point, and planning for next CES is already kind of around the corner. So we are still waiting for some stuff to happen, but the very first booth that I visited this year was Enermax, and I saw this. This is their Neo Changer. It's a new pump res combo. It's got some new innovative features to it. Uh, they sent it over to me. They wanted me to take a look at it, unbox it live on camera. Uh, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna unbox it. We're gonna set up like a quick and dirty loop. Uh, we're gonna get it running, see how it looks, and you guys let me know what you think. All right, guys, so as you guys can see here, we have the box, it is unopened. So I actually don't know what we're gonna be getting into here um, once we open this box up, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what is inside. So we got user manual, foam, and the unit itself, which we will actually that aside for just a moment see what else is in here looks like just this uh, so we'll take this box and move it out of the way all right so unit in a second what is in the box okay so uh, remote control this is actually uh, it's not control controlled through software uh, it is a uh, just a remote that you would get like a normal RGB kind of remote that you might buy with get with like a LED strip or something along those lines. And then on the back here, you see there are actually uh, four magnets, uh, so you could kind of stick this to the side of your case or something for easy access. Uh, it does come with a mount. Uh, these I've found to be relatively sturdy, although um, you know unless you have two specific mounting points. Uh, like this and another one. Uh, sometimes these rotate because you only have one screw uh, that goes through the back here. Uh, but the, the attachment to the pump itself is actually very solid. So, all right. Well, no, actually, let's see what is in here. All right, so this is, a, this is nice to, to have them include. This is a, like a PSU tester. It allows you to um, uh, basically short two pins on, the, on your power supply and uh, test uh, it allows you to turn the power supply on without having any 24 pin connected or anything like that so you don't putting power to your system but you could turn on uh, the pump uh, some velcro um, ties i guess a wrench a mounting bracket uh, some rubber oh these are for mounting as well this is nice it's like anti-vibration uh, rubber and then you're mounting hardware get this out of the way take a look at the pump itself okay so here it is here is the main attraction this is the pump res combo this is the neo changer now one of the attractions to this is that it is a combo unit it actually takes some of the guesswork maybe if you're a novice builder you've never done this before uh, but you know everything comes already put together for you uh, I believe this is a d5 pump it looks like a d5 pump at the bottom here uh, installed already into the reservoir this actually is an LED readout this shows you the rpm of your pump uh, and then around back you see the output and then you have the inputs on top Let's see if I can uh, focus that to the top there we go so you have your input on the top uh, and it comes with a uh, little downspout like that uh, you can also see that it comes with nice sleeved cables uh, this is uh, an issue that I've had with some water cooling equipment in the past and that it comes with these really ugly green and yellow and whatever cables and then it doesn't match anything and you got to sleeve it yourself uh, if you guys had seen my uh, my last uh, custom water cooled build I actually had to sleeve the cables myself because they came unsleeved uh, so this is a nice addition especially if, you know if like I said if you're new to water cooling you've never done this before it's one less thing you have to worry about so in order to get this thing up and running, uh, I am going to build, like I said, like a quick and dirty loop here, uh, get some fittings in here, fill this thing with some purple coolant, uh, and get it running so you guys can check out the display and the lighting. 
All right, so as promised, here is our very quick and very dirty loop. Uh, you can see that I have the tubing running out of the back and then just around to the top, so it's just kind of looping on itself. Um, but let's go ahead and power this up so you guys can see some of the effects. There you go, it flashes, and then the pump starts to run. Um, so you guys can see down here the uh, the LED readout is uh, reading 1470 right now. I think you can see that. Pretty sure. Um, but that is adjustable along with the color of this ring. So we got the remote right here um, and we could turn the ring on. I think that's a purple. Make it a white. There we go. Make it a white. Um, we can make it flash. So it says, I guess that's a slow flash. Um, but in addition to that, you can see the functionality of the remote actually also, here, let me change this back to like a, a red. Um, the functionality of the remote is actually kind of neat because it allows you to adjust the pump speed. So there are presets on here for 1500, 2000, 2500, 3000, 3500, and 4000. And then you could also increase or decrease in increments of 150. Okay, so you see we're at 1470 now, and if I hit plus 150, goes up to 1710. I, I think it was running at uh, 1500. I think that was the 1500 default and it does vary a little bit, uh, but you could see uh, right here that it's running at 1710 right now. Uh, let's crank this up. So let's hit the 2000 preset. So you could see that it goes up uh, right away to 2010. I, I could actually feel it running faster. Um, let's see if we get, this thing goes out of 4000, that's crazy. It's at 4,000. Wow. This is <laughs> Can you guys hear that? Hold on, we're moving over by the mic. <laughs> There's a little extra noise coming out of that pump, but, and you can see that the coolant is really swirling around in there as this motor kicks all the way up to 4,000 RPM, or 3,990 RPM. That's nuts. Uh, so let's back this off. Let's get back down to 1500. There we go. Um, and then the, the lighting is cool. You can, like I said, we're on red now. Uh, you can go green or blue or, you know, yellow, orange, pink, and purple. Um, I don't know. I will have to see if there's a way to manually configure a color. I doesn't it doesn't look like it on this remote to be honest with you um, but it gives you eight different options which should be probably enough to match your color scheme and then you always have white 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 and you always have white uh, to fall back on if need be and this is actually really cool this ring um, there's illuminating upwards and it illuminates through the um, the tube and then there's actually some lighting that comes down from the top or it doesn't come down from the top but it, you could see it at the top just because it's kind of radiating through the uh, through here uh, so there you go uh, there is your Enermax uh, Neo Changer pump and res combo um, it is available now if you guys want to uh, go and check it out you go to the Enermax website um, but I am going to be probably doing a custom build using uh, this unit and hopefully some other um, some other custom water cooling gear from Enermax. Um, they said they're working on it, uh, so uh, let's hope that it comes out soon. And because uh, you know more competition is always good, um, see what kind of products they can come up with. So. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, that's just a really quick video. I hope you enjoyed it. Get subscribed if you're not already and uh, see you next time. Oh my God. <laughs>